Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Today was not bad uh, and uh, we had some nice runs the early this morning as well. And uh, I mean, it is excellent for Monday. We were not expecting that. And uh, we still have a few trades open on the CL. Let me drag some of the trades. We still have uh, the CL trade. Uh, we still have the NASDAQ. And uh, we have um, also Uh, we have another one CL and uh, based on one minute uh, they're, they're doing fine uh, but uh, today again uh, the NASDAQ uh, did very well uh, and the ES surprisingly uh, on the ES one minute uh, which is a statement when we talk about one minute not rank or bar and uh, did 4,000 uh, 500 on the one minute on the NASDAQ uh, two minutes uh, we got 9,345 this is really good and uh, what I like it is uh, the timing uh, we were done uh, around one o'clock with it this is a very uh, nice uh, trade and then uh, we got uh, the YM uh, now we have 4,400 and uh, also we have the YM12 range did very well at 3,100 and it was done by around 11 o'clock. This is not bad for a YM. But what is really funny today, we, we had uh, one member's he shared the template in the web in the webinar today. I don't use rank about everybody knows I don't uh, but uh, that's his trades for today uh, on the rank bar and uh, we shared this template with uh, our members uh, but uh, I've been watching it and uh, it is really amazing uh, I'm not a rank bar but uh, we have one member shared the template with all the traders and uh, here it is surprise uh the ym on the four on the nasdaq on the three minutes eight thousand two hundred eighty and it was done around twelve thirty so this is not bad at all uh, on the ym four minutes uh, got uh, forty eight hundred and uh, the ym two minutes 4400 but it was done around 1130 this is not bad uh, 5500 on the nasdaq four minutes uh, on the on nasdaq five minutes we got 7695 i mean this auto trade with the nasdaq i don't know but it's it's like killing it uh, the DAX uh, five minutes 3,900 almost 4,000 euro and uh, the YM uh, f uh, on the one minute uh, 4,100 of course it follows the ES and uh, 3,100 on the 10 range and then the ES five minutes 4,800 and then at the um, Uh, the the ES four minutes got forty six hundred, and the ES three minutes got forty nine hundred, and the T, uh, ES two hundred take uh, did eleven hundred, and the YM fourteen hundred, forty four hundred, finish around twelve thirty, on the three minutes, and uh, Nasdaq thirty one forty. And the ES nine race sixteen hundred, two minutes twenty nine hundred, 
and Y M10 range 15 and the rest they were a little bit above uh, 1500 the Nasdaq 100 takes 3100 and uh, they are a little bit above 2700 on the 12 range but it was done at 10 o'clock that's what it is it was done by 10 o'clock so it was in the trade like an hour less than an hour because we started a Nasdaq at 200 uh, got 1700 and the ES 100 take uh, got 1000 uh, for the other mini strategy today we have sent out template and uh, it's been doing extremely well and those said uh, we don't use them like uh, two rounds we only use the morning rounds I just want to share the snapshot with it this is different this is a base uh, on one contract it's based on one contract and if the one contract did go against you uh, then the auto trade will average and exit out of it uh, from the second level let me see if there is an example okay here is an example on the ES one minute uh, you can see it took a trade one contract not two not three not four and then uh, the auto trade reverse based on the took on the support resistant re-entered the market on the resistant and then when the market was finished at the support line it entered the first trade and then it did go against you enter the second level and then what it does re-engage with a different target calculated and exit as soon as possible so you can imagine how much advanced we become and uh, when you have some other traders they still trade in ATRs 20 years old indicator so you can see how different the the between and this is not an ATR this is a price line and the auto trade keep going until there is a neutral in the market the market is not just black and white the market cannot be just blue and red and uh, that's why those uh, people with ATRs and all that nonsense they never have a chance to make it let me show you here this is an example this is a price line it's not an ATR as long as this market is trending look at this beautiful line and when the market start about to finish the auto trade close and the beauty about it you're not using you can use a trailing stop or stop loss or you can let the auto trade take over another thing is also you don't need to invest a lot of a stop loss because when the auto trade taking a trade and it's not it's no go with it is minimum losses in it but when the market goes to your direction there is maximum uh, winning so th this strategy here if you notice how the market did stay up all the way to the trend and when it closed the trend it was nothing left now if didn't hit the target he would have took the trade and make probably another couple of three thousand but then if you notice let me show you if you notice with this uh, yellow neutral below that line the bars 
are red. Above that line, the bars are yellow. So you can imagine how much calculation happened in here. Here's another example. Above that line is yellow. Below that line is red. So yeah, this is um, this is a total different animal from your ATR, and that's why the algo on it stay on the trend until it's over. If you want to, or if you want to, I have another guy. He take a first target here, the second or the third or the fourth, and then call it off. You can do that. You can put your target from five ticks to thousand tick if you want to, whatever uh, uh, time frame you are using. Or you can use the first trade, uh, 10, 20 ticks, the third one, the second one, 50, the third one, 75, and the fourth one as a runner or a uh, hundred tick if you want to. Or you let the auto trade take over, and uh, when the trend is finished, the auto trade will shut it down. On top of that, that's why you see sometimes uh, the, let's say when the auto trade make ten thousand or eight thousand, because the auto trade when the market is going to your direction, is not going to close a trade. Why killing a trade when it's coming to your favor? So. When we see a NASDAQ or uh, 8,000, the daily target is 1,000. Just because the auto, the auto trade catch a trend, it's gonna stay on that trade. So this is a big difference or a big advantage uh, to the trader. And uh, for our friend today, he shared this with us. Uh, he's using the Renko bar in conjunction with the with the, the same auto trade as this one here. And uh, I'm not a Renko bar trader, but uh, he set his uh, auto trade, I was amazed, on uh, 2,000 a day. I, um, I set my auto trades on 1,000 a day. So that's all what we have for you folks. And uh, tomorrow uh, we will be uh, live on the other channel. Thank you very much. And please be safe. Thank you. God bless everyone.